Hey guys, I'm Barry the Red Blood Cell. I am currently in the right atrium and about to do my mission. The right atrium is in the heart, a powerful, strong muscle that pumps blood throughout your body. The heart's ventricles are separated by a wall of muscle called the septum. There's left and right ventricles in the left and right atrium. I'm an agent along with all the other red blood cells. Every day, we are called to do the mission, which is to deliver supplies around your body. Today, I hope I'll do a good job. Agent Barry, this is your commander. Do you read me? Get ready to start your mission. Yes, sir. That's my commander. He's the brain, which is practically the main control center of the body. Okay, agent. Since you're the right atrium, you must go through the tricuspid valve to enter the right ventricle. And remember, the tricuspid valve separates the right atrium and the right ventricle. Got it, boss! Okay, the right atrium is the upper atria of the heart where deoxygenated blood cells or carbon dioxide blood cells like me flow into. Later, you'll understand why I'm a deoxygenated blood cell. Boss, I've entered the right ventricle. The right ventricle is the lower chamber of the right side of the heart. Hey look, the pacemakers! Hello! Those guys help make the pace of your heart beat steady. Now what, Commander? Barry, do you know what a valve is? Uh, it's something like a pipe, right? Close, Barry. A valve is a little opening that lets blood flow through. It also prevents the blood from flowing backward. Agent, get ready to go through the pulmonary valve to be inside the pulmonary artery. Kids, an artery is where oxygen blood flows through. Pulmonary means lung. On it, boss! The pulmonary valve separates the right ventricle from the pulmonary artery. Another thing you should remember. The pulmonary artery is the only artery where deoxygenated blood cells goes through. I know, weird, right? Besides, I love my job. It's like I'm going through some roller coaster. Oh yeah, I forgot. I want to introduce you to my neighbors. See, in the bloodstream, there's more than just red blood cells like me. First of all, there's other red blood cells. There's also plasma, yellow liquids that flow in our vessels. Then there's platelets. Little white cells that create blood clots when there's a wound. There's also white blood cells that are part of the military. They fight against diseases. Oh yeah, I'm on my way to the lungs now, where I'll make a transfer and a delivery. Barry, are you at the lungs yet? If you are, you need to go through the capillaries, tiny vessels that connect to the artery and vein when diffusion takes place. Remember, the lungs are the main organs in your respiratory system. On the way! Capillaries! That's where I drop off my carbon dioxide, which made me a carbon dioxide blood cell. See, we deliver the carbon dioxide so you can breathe it out. The carbon dioxide cells go to the capillaries, where we make a transfer in your alveoli. The oxygen comes back in return. Then the carbon dioxide is sent through your bronchi and your nose for you to breathe it out. The oxygen comes when you breathe. It goes into your alveoli where I pick it up. Great! I delivered successfully and became an oxygenated blood cell. Boss, I've delivered successfully. I'm in the pulmonary vein, right? Oh yeah, good job, Asian. Pulmonary vein is the only vein where oxygenated blood cells flow into. Strange, usually veins have carbon dioxide blood cells flowing through. Well, this is how your body is made, no doubt about it. A vein is a vessel where deoxygenated blood flows through. Barry, now you have to go through the pulmonary vein and into the left ventricle. But first, you will have to pass through the mitral valve, the valve that separates the left atrium from the left ventricle. And to do that, you have to go through the left atrium first. Oh, right. Okay, I'm in. Now what? In where? The pulmonary vein, of course, and I'm on my way to the left ventricle. Oh, right. <laughs> <coughs> now, it would be great if you go through the left ventricle and through the aortic valve, the valve that separates the aorta from the left ventricle. The aorta is the largest artery in your body. Look at the size of that thing! Okay, I'm through. I go through the aorta, right? 
My, you're getting smarter. Good job. You can either go up or down. In this case, let's go down. Now, I'm on my way to another set of capillaries in your body where I drop off my oxygen so that your body can be more energized. Basically, I'm making the same transfer like I did before. If you haven't noticed, basically, my whole journey is all one big loop where I'm like a train. The capillaries is where I drop off and regain passengers, and the heart is like a tunnel. Neat, huh? Okay, boss, I've done it again. What do I have to do now? Good job. Now you have to go through the inferior vena cava, a large vein at the bottom of your heart. Wait, then why is there another large vein on top of the heart? Ah, yes, that's the superior vena cava, another large vein that's on the top of your heart. You can actually go through both but depending on whether you're in the top part of the body or the bottom. In this case, you're at the bottom. Ah, oh, okay, going through now. Hey, I'm back where I started. Like I said, a train. Exactly. Now since you're back at the start, can you go on yourself from here? Can you? Of course, sir. You see, I'm just doing the whole cycle again. Well, got to deliver some CO2. Bye, everyone! Quack, 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 quack.